welcome, welcome. Have you got lots of product packaging, labels, grease proof paper, Amazon packaging? I'm going to turn it into paper. I'm using my machine, but you can use glue. <laughs> and and then when you you can you can use it. I'm going to make a little mini journal, I think, as well. But you can use it to make journaling cards. I think it's got a really nice texture on the back. This one I I painted on, and this one I I it is a journaling card, and I put a, one of the quotes from last week in. So I think it, I think it's fun. So you might like to join me or. Just be in the background. No pressure, no pressure. Oh, there's Teresa. Now, replayers and gentle listeners, I'll read the chat for you so you don't need to you don't need to worry or look at the screen. And so I'm gonna say good morning to the people that are coming in. Good morning, Teresa. So nice to see you. And I went to sleep. With, um, with Teresa on in the background yesterday. You streamed, didn't you? And Sharon, are you there too? Good morning, Sharon. So nice to see you. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. And because I know it's early in America. Good morning, Lynn. So nice to see you. Oh. And there's, there's Marilyn. Oh, <laughs> hugs right back to you, Marilyn. So nice to see you. Dark, can you just see Freddie just there? This horde of papers here. It's really restricting our view of young Freddie, isn't it? Let me see. <laughs> He's the most important, isn't he, Dark? There's Patty. Good morning, Patty. So nice to see you. Or as we like to say, don't we, Safia, in the UK? Good afternoon. Were the boys terribly excited about the snow? I take it you've got snow. If we've got snow down south, down here. <laughs> Good morning, Kathy. There's Kathy down on the farm, hoping that it doesn't snow before she goes um, to Florida. Oh, and let me just, I've got to wind it back because I don't want to miss people coming in. <laughs> oh, and there's, there's Patty. Good morning, Patty. Come on in. Yes, Freddie's just there. When I move this machine, just give me half an hour with the machine and you'll be able to see Freddie again. <laughs> Oh, Sherry, so nice to see you all the way over there in America. We've got lots of American and Canadian people here. And we've got people from the UK here. And there's Pam. Good morning, Pam. So nice to see you. <laughs> oh, so, yes, so we always do anyway, saving all our packaging. What happened is we had our prompts. One of our prompts was use sticker back waste that I've been saving because our lovely Rebecca from Create Rebecca stamps on hers. And I was going to do that. And then all of a sudden I thought, oh, I want to, I don't know. I just thought, I want to sew all these bits of paper together. So... Without further ado, that is what I'm going to do. <laughs> so it's not rocket science. You just put them all on top of one another and then sew. And then it makes a nice sturdy paper for our junk journals or whatever journaling we're doing. <laughs> the nice thing about this is I'm not really thinking about where I'm placing anything. Sorry, Flo. Oh, I am sorry, dear. Gosh, glad I didn't spill her tea. Goodness me. <laughs> I'm just literally popping it in. Let me move those buttons there so you can see Flo's desk. Because Flo is always so busy. 
are so creative. <laughs> oh. So I had a message from lovely Trudy, Gargoyle for Gluing. She's in the background and that's lovely. I love that. This is my, we were on someone's stream and they were saying, was it? Who was stream was I on? And they were saying, Packaging is amazing. Companies put so much work into their artwork to entice us to buy their products. But this is my porridge, my instant porridge packet. But I absolutely love it. I'm going to put that behind that sort of little window of paper there. And just, and yeah, who was it? She does, uh, the, the name is on the tip of my tongue. She does Big oh, Possum Patty. I think Possum Patty, who has a junk journaling hashtag on a Tuesday, I think. And she was saying, and I'm thinking, hey, I, we, I don't need, I'm preaching to the choir. Is that a saying in some of your countries? Because you say things, we all do, don't we? It's just crazy how we say things. So Trudy is in the background, I know. And then so many other people are just gently listening. And we've got our lovely replays too. And it is becoming apparent in comments that, do you know, this is a really tricky time of year for people. And some people are literally just so busy as well at this time of year. And so yes, let me let me keep you company. <laughs> I'll pop that paper there. I'm just trying to get your view of our young, our young flow over there, so it's not interrupted. <laughs> oh. So do do let me know what 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 is everybody doing? I'm just I'm just gently ripping up here. If that's not too noisy for you, and that Amazon packaging we. Either way, they're going. I'm putting it so it's going this way and that way. And if you haven't got a machine, you can just glue yours. Now, Stephanie G, let me get my pen. I'll get this one. Stephanie G had an amazing video the other day. I will leave a link. Stephanie G and her unpossible. Possum Patty as well. And she was making, and I can't quite put my head around what she was making, but it was something very similar. She was gluing scraps and putting it around a cardboard tube to make the paper. It was wonderful. I never really got very far with my prompts last week, and I think. That's the beauty of the prompts. They're just there, just to kickstart our imagination. And because I got playing with the sticker back paper and this, and yes, <laughs> the rest is history. <laughs> oh, let me just check the chat there. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to miss anybody. Oh, there we are. So I do hope everybody's okay. Oh, Replay is is the name of your friend's vintage toy shop. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, what a lovely name. And isn't it lovely, vintage toys, giving them another lease of life. Some of them to go on shelves, probably, if they're vintage, but other ones will be... Oh, that is so sweet. <laughs> That's Chili Bean Studio. 
Oh, Stephanie, I was just mentioning you. What did you call your paper that you were doing the other day? And you were you were making paper, you were gluing it, and you were ro rolling it on a tube, so it was all handy to have. And you were getting quite carried away with your creating. You were enjoying it. <laughs> and there's Jill. Good morning, Jill. So nice to see you. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Dar. Thank you. <laughs> it's a little cardigan, but it's over a sweatshirt. I've got my. <laughs> it's quite cold here. <laughs> Yesterday it was below freezing, but today we've been out for a walk on the snow. Can you see? Every time my camera's at a different angle, <laughs> no consistency, but you can actually see the snow on the fence just outside. I live in southern England and we didn't get much snow, so it was really quite fun. And Fred had, he's down there by the way. Bless you, Freddie. Oh, he's tired. I'll move the machine in a minute. And he's, he loved the snow and he's putting it in his mouth and eating it. <laughs> oh. And Jill from Jilly Bean Studio, so glad that you can join us. Yes, yeah, I'm so glad that you can join us this morning. Mm. <laughs> and you put, oh, junk, Jan, it was from, oh, another. Now, Janice, isn't that interesting? I did go and visit the same video that um bonnie and that you recommended last week from bonnie and clive and that was when she was making the blue clusters how wonderful and she was it was her channel janice good morning by the way <laughs> oh that's amazing absolutely amazing oh, just literally it looks like a wonderful hot mess, but the more stitches you put on it, and it makes such a yummy pattern on the back. You might not want to cover the back up, but you can if you want to. There's, there's Julia. Good morning, Julia. In um, I'm, I'm afraid I need to take this phone call. I, I do apologise. <laughs> Morning, Janet speaking. Hi, Janet, it's Sarah from Hello, Sarah. Hi, yeah, uh, thank you very much. Are you okay? Um, yeah, I am. Is it okay to phone me back? Oh, yeah, 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 I'll phone me back in a couple of hours. Super, super, I'll phone you back. Thank you, Sarah. Bye bye, dear. <laughs> oh, that's that's where my mum is. They keep me in touch with every single thing that's going on which is so lovely they are so lovely she just had a visitor so that was lovely <laughs> oh yeah let me go back in chat because i don't want to miss anything mm. and there's cheryl i'm glad i'm going back on this chat good morning cheryl and let me goodness me and there's Dixie. Oh, so nice to see you, Dixie. So nice to see you. Janice is saying a blanket good morning to everybody because she's getting ready for work. Mm. Oh, gosh, Lynn's got 17 people on Christmas Day. Seven visiting from Brazil. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, wow. That's quite that's quite a lot to cater for. <laughs> and there's little pickles. Mm. Oh, glue would be safer for you. <laughs> well, yes, absolutely. <laughs> it gives um, yes, anything. It just gives a nice texture, whether it's glued together or, or whether it's sewn. <laughs> little pickles, good morning. Are you over your flu? And are you keeping nice and warm? <laughs> And Janet, there's Janet. Janet B, got another Janet in the house. Good morning. You've got Janet, 
Janice and Janet from Canada. Good morning. So nice to see you. And there's Irene. Good morning, Irene. I mean, good afternoon. It's afternoon for us, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that's lovely. And there's Kimberly. Good morning, Kimberly. Is your garden put to bed now, Kimberly? Can't do much now, can we? Really, in the garden. There's lovely Beth. Good morning, Beth. So nice to see you from sunny Florida. <laughs> oh, dear. I wonder what Beth, wonder what you'd do if you came here. Um, because it's just, yes, it's so chilly here. <laughs> what would you say? I've got my can of peaches here and it's I'm just going to put it behind this paper and that's just going to go on there. <laughs> I do save these and sometimes this was just from bread and Sam says to me, oh, do you want this paper, Mum? He, he doesn't throw packaging away. It's very sweet. So I get quite a collection. So it's, it's fun to make my own paper here. <laughs> nice to see you, Dixie. <laughs> oh, I'm reading chat. Yes, it's dark outside because the we it, we've got snow clouds outside. Is it dark with you too, Dixie? Yes, yeah. <laughs> mm. But we've got our Christmas lights on, definitely, cheering us up. Mm. Let the, I'm getting all confused with my chat this morning. <laughs> I just didn't don't want to miss anybody. <laughs> oh, there's Sue. And the, as you're saying good morning to people, that helps too. Good morning. I mean, good afternoon, Sue. Has Happy made you a nice coffee? like this as well this came from the bag of flour and it's got like watercolor on it i don't know what that's meant to be i think it's meant to be a lemon it's not gorgeous ah <laughs> oh dear there's roy good morning roy so nice to see you really nice to see you we're just um doing junk journaling here at not sure what you're up to. Probably getting a coffee this early in the morning, aren't you, Roy? I've probably added enough junk for one slice of paper. Let's do some sewing, shall we? And then I can concentrate on you. <laughs> Have I missed Grunchy Girl? Laurie, Laurie, Laurie B. Good morning. Oh, it's lovely little sewing machine. It's a Singer 99K. And I know it's 1950, late 1950s, and I know people do find it brings back memories. <laughs> Kelly, there you are. Come in, come in. <laughs> oh, dear. You're getting ready for work. Oh, yes. Don't worry about missing people in chat. Everybody understands. Oh, definitely. No one will think, well, Kelly didn't say good morning. Say a blanket good morning to everybody. Thank you, darling. So nice to see you. <laughs> well, good evening. Good evening from Peter. There's Peter all the way over there in Australia. It's evening time. They have, they have their Mondays. Now, Pam and Puscat may not be here because they've had a busy Monday already. Pam may be on replay. Pam had an after a morning tea. That's what they call it in Australia. They have morning tea in their art group. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> so maybe Pam is fast asleep already. Monday night in Australia. <laughs> ah, so nice to see you, Peter. 
Oh, Peter, I went to see the first edit. Um, where's Freddie? He's just there, Peter. Don't worry. Look, can you see the blackness of in, in the chair when I move this machine? There you are. There's there's Pam. Did I miss you, Pam, in chat? Or you, you or, or, or are you relaxing? <laughs> I rather like this piece of packaging. It's got did vegetables come in it? I'm not going to sew on this. Look, I've even rounded the corners. I'm, I'm thinking journal cover there with this one. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> mm. Yes, it's coming up to the summer holidays in Australia. Absolutely, Roy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> And yes, I went to see Ben's first edit of one of his videos, and oh, it, it's amazing to see to see Africa. And that can you see this blanket behind me? I suppose it gets chilly in in Africa. I don't know what what's it made from. Hmm. Does it say the material? whether it's a wool product. I have to be careful when I wash it. It says hand wash. But this is a traditional... Now, it'll come to me. Um, Maasai, Maasai, Maasai. I didn't realise that. I thought, what an unusual colour. But they were wearing red when they were doing their dancing. They put these, these blankets just literally around their shoulders and they do their traditional dancing. Well, it's their dancing. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> he, wears, he wears his um, summer attire Santa, doesn't he? Yes, when, he, <laughs> when he's in Australia. Oh, dear. so amazing, so amazing. Oh, there's Mary. Good morning, Mary. I have been, haven't commented yet, I, because I was watching in the kitchen earlier on i watching your you were making an angel <laughs> for your christmas journal you're putting paper dolls in your christmas journal i found that very inspiring and this morning i put a little doll in paper doll that trudy had given me in my christmas journal Thank you, Trudy. <laughs> Trudy's a gentle listener today. <laughs> oh. and Mary's just come in and I'm so glad. Africa lessons today. I know, I know. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, it's... He's so fortunate to be able to go out there, isn't he? I'm quite enjoying the packing from the Amazon. I, I quite like that. If I put a little of that on here, I might be able to cut that up to go in my Christmas journal. I'm not doing it with any plans, really. It's just whatever comes. <laughs> Oh, well, Lazima, so nice to see you. Welcome, welcome. Lazima's down in Florida too. Mm. Oh, you'd love to see it. I can't, once I'm here, I can't really, when I, I'll move it to the front when I'm putting it down on the ground when we change activities very soon. And so, because I know that you want to see Freddie as well. You want to see the front of the machine and Freddie. What a dis what an unsatisfactory view you have. <laughs> oh, Gail, I expect you've got a, a busy morning planned. Oh. oh, yes, while I see Mary here, your eyes seem to be healing really well. And I'm thinking of Ruth Lamb as well who we see here in chat, yes, mm. and wishing her so much, yes, so much 
healing vibes. And do you know, and that, my dear friends, is the end of that. The bobbin needs re, re threading. So I think we're going to use some of this paper we've made now. So I'm going to unplug it and then I will show you the front. Mm. Fabric that I put in a safe place. Oh, no. Oh, because you, you were making those fabric bags and you put some fabric in a safe place. Oh, yeah, it's you moved it from the original place because you thought you really wanted to, oh, Roy. Oh, you were among friends because we do that all the time. Oh, yes. Mm. Oh, a little, a little doll from, from Africa. Yes, a friend for Flo. That would be such fun, wouldn't it? Awesome, awesome fabric. He said I can cut the fabric up, but I, I don't really want to. <laughs> Ah oh dear, Mary has no idea where that fabric could be. There's Malaya. That's a, you're another video that I'm in the middle of. That was upstairs with my morning cup of tea. Let me show you the front of the machine, Pom Pom. Um, there it is, in all its glory. Can you see it? <laughs> oh dear, I do sometimes show it on my videos as well, which helps. Yes, Malaya has some vintage magazines and you were um, harvesting them, weren't you? Mm. <laughs> Malaya thinks we do know where that material is. <laughs> we need it for ourselves. There's Nettie. Good morning, Nettie. I'm just showing the machine. My this this is this is my pet machine, but I will show you the real star <laughs> in a minute. This lovely machine is such a star. <laughs> Let's I'm gonna bend my knees. It was just to start off, just to give you an idea, instead of gluing, you can and I tell you all. Oh. A pin stuck in my scarf. It's gone now. It's fine. <laughs> There's Amy. Good morning. So nice to see you, Amy. So nice to see you. <laughs> Sophia's made it back for a bit. Sophia, you did tell me something about the snow and I missed it. I'm presuming you've got snow there. So, yes, what am I going to do with this paper? You could use it front or that way i've got some more here this one probably could do with a little bit more but i just love it i just love it and that all started off last oh no let's when can we move this people want to sit people don't want to see the desk or me you want to see freddie let Freddie, can you see him now? Hmm. There you go. Can't quite see him today, can you? Do you think he'd let me move his chair back a bit? Hmm. <laughs> oh, yes, I, I don't. Yes, he probably will. He probably will. There's Chris. Good morning, Chris. So nice to see you. And there's Dana. Good morning, Dana. So lovely to see you. You've got a lot of videos coming up. You have a bunch of editing to do. Fantastic. Um, I, I enjoy watching those, Malaya. That's really good. Mm. Oh, you've got snow. Yeah, the boys enjoyed it. Let me see if I can move. Which way do I need to move it? I'm not very logical. Sorry, darling. I'm just moving the fan. Oh, look, it's a little towel. Wait, wait. Oh. There you go. Oh, I know you're wagging your tail. I know. He just liked it that I went over to him and he wagged his tail. Excuse me, I'm all sort of like um, wrapped up to keep warm. <laughs> oh dear. Chris Flo is so enjoying your, your, she's been doing some colouring. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> this is from Chris. It's a download. 
and it's a it's a little gift that she's given the community isn't that lovely oh i love it let's in beth's group <laughs> and we can um print it off <laughs> just to just need a black and white printer it's a zine and my one it probably should be printed off on a4 but mine came out little and when mine came out little well flo just grabbed it and said right i'm i'm having that <laughs> so let's make i'll tell you what we're going to make i've made the journaling cards and i'm going to this this is for my prompts from last week i'm going to I've stuck that on there. That's for there. And I think this week, I think I'm going to make this one, I think, with you. Have I got scissors? Now, that would be very disappointing if I, I my scissors were in the other room, wouldn't it? Hmm. Right. Let me just see if I've got some behind me. I have. <laughs> oh dear, what am I like? Mm. <laughs> oh, I used to love those days. We we had a wooden sledge and I was I would take the boys to to school on the sledge or pick them up on the sledge and then we'd go straight to Lloyd Park. That's where you see me. And I would pack tomato soup in a flask and hot chocolate and they would play in the snow because it doesn't last for long <laughs> not here anyway not in the southeast <laughs> now you can't rip it if you try to rip it it, it stops where the, where the sewing is so I'm just making here a little junk journal and Sophia in chat just here there she is sent me some happy mail and in the happy mail she sent me a little pack there's some ribbon as well she sent me a little pack of positive quotes and bits and pieces so that I could make comfort journals to send to people so isn't that wonderful thank you so this really is, ah, it's got a cut edge. So I'm going to turn it that way. So it's it's got the cut edge there. So it's very junky looking. And we'll sew this up and then we'll get Sophia's happy mail out and then we'll make it into a positive quote journey. Journey? Journal. Now, before I was part of this community, I used to make the journals and I just used to, well, I used to give them to people. I knew if they went well or undergoing some forms of treatment. or And then now I just tend, well, we just send them out, don't we, to one another. Although... I have got some abandoned art in mind <laughs> and that's more to come. At the end of this month, we have our last hop of the last hop of the year and I'm going to be doing some abandoned art. Have I got any glue? Hmm. There it is. And this is just a bit that didn't get stitched. So I'm literally just folding it over there and sticking it. So it's not it's not rocket science. Ah, okay. I'm literally just making a little now that's a fold over. Hmm. So would it fold over there? No, I think I'm going to, because I can make tags and I'll make pockets. So let me see, how many pages have I got? It's very one, two, three, four. Now the beauty of this journal is, it feels quite nice in the hands and it's got quite a nice sound. It's hitting 
Ticking those boxes, those sensory boxes. Did I? So what I like to add to these journals somewhere are oh, here from Sophia. There's some velvet there. And I do, I'm just going to start. I'm going to do what I do when I just sat here, um, creating away, crafting away. I, I'm quite random really. Just while I remember that. And that I do like in a comfort journal, just there like that. I do like to put a piece of velvet in because it's nice if someone's got that in their pocket, they can just feel that and that's lovely. Ticking the our sensory boxes and sometimes it's nice to say if you know people like it, you could put some lavender in it and it, it has a scent as well. Should we sew that up? How many pages? Let's do one more page. Mm. <laughs> oh. Let's do one more page. Could have a little page in the middle. And we'll put some pockets in as well, I think. Let me just go now and get the thread. And we'll sew that up. Now, you probably know how to do pamphlet stitch. It's just three holes. Sis, so nice that you could. <laughs> Thank you, sis. So nice that you could make the live. So nice to see you. And there's, there's Carol. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. Oh, come on in, everyone. I'm sorry that I missed your live um on at the weekend and saying that again carol yes but having said that i thoroughly enjoy i'm going to leave a link your video on your little owl you carol made carol Anne, and becky Hide your fingers when you're doing this, won't you? Um, Carol, Ann and Becky made a little owl and the owl was one inch. Wasn't that amazing? Absolutely amazing. Good morning, Kathy. Come right in. So nice to see you. I'm, I'm struggling with, let me guess a book. <laughs> Just putting this junk journal together. Just because, just because we can. <laughs> Let's just get this book here. That's it. You can have special book arches or there we are. And make a hole there. Now, if you're doing if you're doing a very neat journal, you might want to clip it all together. But this is a junk journal, so we're not really bothering too much. Who am I kidding? This is the only sort of journal that I do do. Everything that I do is quite wonky, especially at the moment. <laughs> ah. Now, am I missing someone? You're saying good morning to Cass. Let me just come up here. <laughs> am I missing someone? Oh, thank you. <laughs> We're keeping warm. Mm. You've had a cold weekend, have you, sis? Yes, yes. I want my heartstrings, as Lizzie Brewer would say, to be in the middle. So I'm going to go up there and down through this hole. I'm going to put my glasses on because that really will help. <laughs> oh, dear. You've got to, is you putting a link in there, Beth, for something, dear? What was that? Thank you, Beth, for putting in links. Oh, if you've got channels, put in links or ask the mods to put in links for you because we love to find new channels, don't we? <laughs> and be reminded of channels. 
Oh, I had a question to ask. <laughs> Pam, so nice to see you too. <laughs> oh, I, you're saying, yes, I didn't know whether you'd heard me before because you must be so sleepy after having a wonderful day at your, your craft, your art club today. You're saying good morning to lovely Janice all the way up there in Canada. <laughs> ah, just thread that needle. It's quite a big hole there. So, yes, there we are. I'm going to pop that through there. And I'm always going to put the needle and that back together. For some reason, pride comes before a fall. Next week, I won't find it. I said, I don't usually lose it. I pop it on the desk behind me. <laughs> now you watch, I will. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> I'm not Teresa. <laughs> oh, dear. So this is very, ooh, lovely. It's very junky junk journal made from paper you know, it's, this is a lovely size you could make any size couldn't you hmm. just like this and then i cut it up wouldn't it be lovely to put some i'll be putting pockets and i shall be putting tags Let's make a pocket, shall we? And then I find that that hasn't got any stitches on it because I, I did give up a bit, didn't I, with the stitching because the bobbin. Let's cut, cut this out as a pocket just to give a little example. There we are. That's a lovely pocket with a I was going to say it had a tassel, but I've just popped that on and I'm just going to glue that in. You could glue all the, if I, if probably, if I was here just fiddling, I would, well, I might sew it on. <laughs> but I'll put some glue here. This is just to give you an idea. And then we'll have lots of positive quotes to put in. So I've got a little pocket just in the middle there. We're going to have lots of pockets in there, shall we? And let's get another piece here. Very junky. <laughs> Do need a little bit of glue sometimes. I'll pop that there. And I'll put that in there like that there we are that needs to stick down a little more I need to be a little more patient <laughs> let's let's um let's glue that down a little bit better there we are there now when you're when you're crafting or relaxing don't forget to just get yourself in a good position and take a nice deep breath as well because we can get all crunched up and busy even when we're creating and we forget to just breathe okay Chris yes yes <laughs> oh care December wait oh Yes, Sophia, yes, let's remind people about the hashtag Care December. Yes, it's a hashtag. If you look it up on Instagram, all lowercase, I think, and on YouTube, you will find that. And Sophia has been doing a journal. Yes. Good morning, Stacey. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. Let's pop that in there. This, oh, I distracted myself and I didn't tie it up. I thought it was a bit loose. That's why 
just need to slow ourselves down sometimes. There we are. And just because this is made of junk, doesn't mean to say that we can't make this beautiful. Mm. No. Now, have I got the envelope from Safia here? Not. I've been doing a lot of crafting and arting on at the um, in the dining room, so I you will leave that to me to put some nice positive quotes and bits and pieces in here, and I can show you next week or on Friday maybe. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Oh, there. So I've got that and I've put more tags and I've got some velvet in it already because that's very important. If you feel there's any positive words or quotes you today are feeling are helpful, um, let me know and I will put those in this little journal too. <laughs> um, let me don't let me miss you if i have missed you when i was tying this knot or something um just yes <laughs> mm. oh stephanie your son wants to come on too and look i'm glad i'm scrolling back because there's ruth ruth e Good morning, Ruth E. So nice to see you. I say Ruth E because we have a Ruth L as well. Oh, and little Freddie is there. You can see him now. Mm. There we are. So I just keep scrolling back because I don't want to miss anybody. <laughs> there we are. Good morning, Kat. So nice to see you. Come on in. You're in sunny Florida. Come to snowy. You can see it through the window. Wouldn't it be lovely if we had little robins set on there as well? <laughs> oh, did did somebody come in with a little pickles? Did you say something? Yes. Sometimes the strength within you is not a big fiery flame for all to see. It is just a tiny spark that whispers. You got this. Keep going. That is incredible. Could I ask you to message me that? Because that's quite the essay. I, I don't know whether I'll be able to write it down in time before it disappears. I'm going to read it again. Because you summed it up. Little Pickles summed it up. Sometimes strength within is not a big fiery flame for all to see. It is just a tiny spark that whispers, you got this, keep going. Mm. Yeah, you got this, keep going. Gosh, that is very moving, thank you. Mm. Jill is heading off, it's so nice to see you. Um, have a good day at work and Jilly, I do hope you get back to working get home soon then you can work in, in your creative journals <laughs> mm. oh Jasper good morning Jasper so nice to see you um is, Cheryl's put a link in for um for Teresa, is that right, Cheryl? Thank you. Pop links in for other people and I and and put your own links in and that's lovely. We love it. <laughs> oh, happy Monday, Kat. Definitely. I can't believe it's come round to Monday already. So I'm gonna put all this, all this jazz, all this. Upcycled malarkey here. Oh, that's lovely. What else have we been doing? What else have I been doing? 
Let me show you. <laughs> ah, good morning. Waving back, Jasper. <laughs> so nice to see you. Don't let me miss anybody. Thank you for that. I take it you're going to message me back. That is so lovely. I've got something else that I'm going to put this in my prompt page for today. This is some of Sophia's artwork. Isn't it beautiful? I love the way it's wonky and I love the way it comes off the page. It's, it's mm, watercolour paper. Jean, Jean's brewing her coffee. <laughs> A Christmas mug, I presume, Jean. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so nice to see you. Isn't that gorgeous? Taking time for yourself is not selfish. That's something for us, isn't it, today to take in. I'll put that there so you can see it. I'm presuming it's not back to front for you. I've been enjoying my winter Christmas journal. I'm not going by... It hasn't got to be daily creative or anything like that. I'm not going to put pressure on myself. Um, what have I been doing? I did find, I did have a Ponsettia stamp from America. So I put that on my Ponsettia page. And I put Julia's ATCs in this pocket. And I've used the Daphne's diary that Jennifer and... Julia so kindly sent me to make that pocket. Isn't it lovely and shiny? <laughs> I love it. Oh, I put one of those ephemera I made. And here I had some happy mail from Journey. These pages, let me take them out because they're they're all well, that's stuck to there. That's that little ephemera that I made. And there was some fabric in Journey's Happy Mail so, and a button, a wooden button. So I put that there. That's a lovely start to that page. Making, making clusters for our, 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 our journals is just so relaxing, so relaxing. This was sitting on the settee. And I think I went as soon as I opened the happy mail, I made the cluster. Lots more to come. That's just pinned on. So that's that. And I also started to make because I'm just so into the mushrooms at the moment. I have started to make a mushroom page. <laughs> oh dear! I've been cutting out little bookcases. I think they make nice mushroom stems and here is a clock this clock is a yorkshire clock if you watch james herriot um or creatures great and small that's set in yorkshire and you'll notice they have one of these it's a wall clock very heavy this big and my parents always had one of these yorkshire farmhouse clocks here I've made it into a mushroom. Yorkshire clocks in their hallway. Let me just tap my chat because it's very sticky today. So hopefully it'll keep up. It'll keep up in a minute. Yes, mushrooms, Amy. Randy, good to see you. Come on in, Randy. Saved you a chair. Comfy, a lovely comfy chair with all the crochet stuff on it. Mm. Beth's posting channels. Thank you, Bear. Thank you so much. You've got Aunt Bex in there and Amy's. Yes, just ask Bear. <laughs> so the Yorkshire clock came from my mother's side of the family. She came, yeah, they came from Yorkshire. And her aunt, she used to go and stay with her aunt in the farmhouse. And her aunt was a really good cook. And at one time, the aunt had been a cook for a really large house. So that would be a little bit like 
Downton Abbey. She was a head, a head, a head chef, a head, the head cook. So if you've watched Downton Abbey, you know that they're very important, <laughs> very good cooks. And she must have passed some of that on to my mum. So this Yorkshire clock was inherited from them and it sat in my mum and dad's hallway for a long time. And then I had to clear their house, unfortunately, at the end of last year. And the clock, there was somebody that my parents knew and I phoned them up. No, I went to visit them. It was this time last year, maybe a cup of tea. I had a mince pie with them. And I noticed that they, Beth does rock. Thank you, Roy, she does. I noticed that they had a grandfather clock and that they were really good with clocks. And I thought, hmm, there's a home. There, there's a home. So I asked them whether they would like the Yorkshire clock. And knowing that, um, Louise, the lady, she was came from Yorkshire originally too. So they said yes, they would, and they would treasure it. So isn't that lovely, Randy? Yes, scooch up on that comfy chair. Jasper's going. It's cold, so Jasper's going to squeeze up next to you. That's so nice. <laughs> oh, thank you, Beth. Dear. Thank you so much. Mm. So. Yes, that's the story of the clock. And the other amazing thing about it is they they also have a second, it's their second home. It's up in Yorkshire because it was a family house and they use it for their families to go on holidays and they spend quite a lot of time there. The clock has gone up to live back in Yorkshire. I thought Pam, because Pam and me, Pam, although she lives in Australia, comes from Yorkshire, which is up the north of our country. And um, the clock has gone to live back up in Yorkshire, where it where it came from, probably 50 years ago. <laughs> and it's a very old clock. It's probably two or 300 years old. So <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's nearly time for a snack, isn't it? just show you one more thing now Mary was putting in paper dolls I've got this these gorgeous look at this winter fairy or is she a princess I think she's a princess and she looks after all the fairies and the woodland animals she's got a robin and there's a little cardinal on that mushroom <laughs> oh. No, we have a very small family, Becky, on my mum's side. Yes. <laughs> and it just, uh, and um, I talked to my mum about it and it just felt so right for it to go to people that knew how to look after clocks because um, they do need such special treatment, knowing that it had been so cared for. Mm. Yes, there we are. Do you remember though any of those from your childhood? I'll send I will send you a picture, Pam. I can't I've got my handy map is meant to be in the back here. Yes, it is. From Cat. Let's just show everybody where Yorkshire is, shall we? <laughs> and then have some Yorkshire tea. Ah, <laughs> oh, it felt like it was going home. Yes, there were lots of other clocks. My uncle in because clocks were things that people got for their 21st birthday present back in the day. And yeah, they're, they're very old, two or three hundred years old. And Jeff's got one. My dad had put electrics with some of them, but some of them were pendulum clocks. So, yes, let's see. Where is Yorkshire? Let me see. Here we are. So this is where I live, London, here. And all the way up to here. So we would call that up north, up there. That's where, that's where Yorkshire is. 
I find it so handy to have this little map in the back. Thank you, Kat. <laughs> I put it in the journal that I'm working on next. There we are, Ruth's handing out coffees for everybody. You know the rhythm of this stream, and so does Freddie. Is he beginning to feel? Oh, let me just. Oh, I'll just show you one more thing, if I may, in my Christmas journal. I had, I had. Happy, happy mail from Ellie Bean. And it was, ah, oh, Ellie, Ellie's probably on the replay or gently listening in the background. I had the most lovely time with a glue stick and my pair of scissors. I, your envelope, I used the bits and pieces from your happy mail. It's all from your happy mail to, to make a little pocket and a band and somewhere to write this is all and it's lovely and you're lovely cute as a button christmas card look at him isn't he delightful wouldn't you like to paint him there shall i send you a picture beth paints beautifully <laughs> oh no <laughs> that's your part of the uk and and little pickles as i said that I, I did think, oh, I do hope that you're not offended that I said it in that way. You, you have to remember, because my roots are from Lancashire and Yorkshire, and my mum, although she left Lancashire, called to Manchester, um, but oh, 63 years ago, she still has her northern accent. <laughs> oh, she really does. So thank you, Ellie. I love, I loved my happy mail. And it's such fun when you get a little envelope of goodies to <laughs> use them. Definitely don't get offended. You have no accent, remember. <laughs> if we put in Little Pickles um, channel, I haven't visited your channel recently. Oh, Little Pickles, I need to pop over and see you. You do colouring in a wonderfully mixed media way, Little Pickles. Candy, so nice to see you. Come on in, Candy, and have a rest. We're having, we're having a restful, are we having a restful morning? I think we are. <laughs> ah, oh, pop some numbers in. I've got a little postcard. I found an extra little pile of letters and it said flourish so mm. I know it's always a nice surprise isn't it Malaya definitely <laughs> little pickle says she's the hot mess express there's there's Aunt Bex Becky Becky's finished her I loved your little owl, your one in owl, by the way. Um, Becky's finished her, her, her second corner to corner crochet. Oh, <laughs> I'll send a postcard. I don't, would you, I mean, is this something, I don't, is this comfort journal too junky? Is this just my scene or would pe would this be something people would like to receive in the post once it's embellished? It's very junky. It's something I you just don't know what if people may not like that. Oh, that just flipped onto my desk. That's nice and junky. I'll put that on there. I mean, I'm quite happy to fill this with positivity and send it on its way. No such thing as too junky. Oh, okay, Janice. Oh, well, let's do this and. We'll do the postcard. Oh, we'll do a postcard as well. Let's do two. Oh, I can, yes. Meet little Miss Indecision here today. <laughs> okay, thank you, Janice. Thank you. Mm. Oh, thank you. Okay, yeah, no, wasn't, you know, didn't, um, that wasn't being self-deprecating. I was just thinking, um, yeah, I'm among friends. We do like this sort of thing, don't we? Yes, yeah. True. Pop numbers in for other people that aren't here and 
were here or your mums or aunts. <laughs> Let's go to random. I'll do the comments one later. So let's do random. Let me put my glasses on. Oh, thank you, Becky. Yes, thank you. Mm. Thank you, Kelly, dear. Nine and three quarters for Janice. You have one with them. Um, it's been picked sometimes or, or something. <laughs> 10 or something and you were near it. I know, I know. Oh, still coming in with numbers. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. Are you crocheting this morning? Um, how's the blanket getting on, Mary? And you did your hat and scarf? <laughs> oh, tell, tell you a story. Oh, Cheryl's putting 89 in for Kathy's World. Thank you. Thank you so much for doing that. That's so kind of right yes yeah let me write that down thank you for letting me know yeah yeah okay oh i love my stream notes i really do let me remind me in a minute when we've done this thank you cheryl and Millet. oh it's got the weather minus one. Oh, goodness me um i want random Random org, random number generator. Right, there we are. I've got it, but it's not the right one. You'd think I've done this before. Oh, there we are. Oh, right. Right. So have we? Thank you, Pom Pom. <laughs> Let me just um, generate the number and it's number 24. So it's on or nearest under. So we we'll see number 24 for the little junk journal. And I always find full of positive quotes and I think we all need those. We really do. You might not think you do, but yeah, we do. We do. Oh, these things have a way of working out. It's Becky. Aunt Bex, Becky. I'm going to send that to Becky. How lovely. There we are. Now, Becky, would you like me to send it as is, like this, Becky? with the bookmarks and pockets as is so you can decorate it yourself or would you like me to decorate it for you there's a little choice there um come in and tell me becky what you would like me to do i'm happy with either you'll come back to me in a minute <laughs> can i can we can i generate another number i'd like to send this with this little postcard and it says in an embroidery hope one day at a time well-being and love and flourish yes becky you will you will decorate it decorate it becky i have an idea you would say that i'm loving that i will put some more pockets and tags Brit and it, it's british junk how interesting for you that let i'll make sure there's a baked bean can <laughs> label and that sort of thing we're fascinated by um other people's junk is different to ours that's fantastic i'm loving that let oh I generate another number 29 for the postcard postcard yeah, I shall I've got to stamp this one I'll have to wait till I go to Ben's post office best post office in the world this one I can get in the post tomorrow <laughs> who was nearest on or just under with 29 
you're going to decorate it and gift it to your mum. A partnership. That's really lovely. Teamwork makes the dream work, doesn't it, Becky? That's wonderful. It won't get to you this side of Christmas because our post is quite slow. Yeah, but um, maybe it'll get there for early New Year. Hmm. Is it candy? That's amazing. That's lovely. And I know that, yeah, that's really lovely because You've had some health issues, haven't you, um, Candy? And so it's lovely. It'd be, it'd be lovely to send a message of of hope through the through the post. Thank you. Oh, lovely. There we are. Hmm. There you go, Candy. I'll put that there. Do you know? Freddie hasn't reacted to the fact that. Oh, that what time is it, Freddie? Is Mummy running late? He's so exhausted from the excitement of being in the snow this morning. It's not a lot, it's only a couple of inches, but he's, um, it's still jolly chilly. Just sort of like, <laughs> my jumpers down. Jolly chilly. Where's your snacks? They're here from yesterday. Oh, licking your lips. Are you going to get up or? I can't be bothered. Hmm. Oh, let me tell you the scarf story in a minute. Um, let me tell you the scarf story. Oh. Right, Freddie, most importantly. Yeah, oh, you take care, Beth. You take care. Yes, you go and start your day. Yes, you have chores to do. Yes. And and then Chris says your chores are done. You can sit down for a while. Mm. Uh, you're going to the school Christmas lunch. Oh, how lovely. Oh, that's a nice treat, isn't it? Oh, you're not getting oh, he's not getting up. I have to go to him. Mm. Yeah. Uh-huh. My dad, do you want to miss any while I go over here? There you go, Freddie. Mmm, these treats are from Barbara Emery. There you go. They're nice and little, so you can have lots. They're nice, and you can have some at the end as well. Yeah? Lovely. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> How nice. I wonder what are they going to give you for your Christmas lunch, Jasper? How nice. <laughs> nice to be cooked for. That's actually, Jasper, it really is nice to be cooked for because I know you're always really busy, aren't you? Busy with your, your teaching and looking after your dad, I know. So, yes. Take a little time just for yourself as Sophia says taking time for yourself is not selfish isn't that lovely putting that there so we can see it mm. he quits his food brought right to him I know Malaya <laughs> if only someone would do that for you Malaya Malaya's always running around after the girls and hubby, aren't you? I know. Hmm. It's a good meal and some, yeah, lo oh, lovely. That's nice. Oh, that's something to look forward to. Are you dressing up like a Christmas jumper or anything like that or not going to bother? Hmm. Oh, you had number 21, but it's a long way on. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Pam. <laughs> we'll do, do another one at the end, and I've got the comments one as well, because some people can't get to the lives, can they? So we can do that. Showed you that. Let me just show you what else I've been, what else have I been doing this week? Oh, 
because I love doing mushroom ephemera so much on my envelopes and I've got my mushroom page in my journal, I made, let's just take this out so you can see it a bit better, a mushroom shape. <laughs> I'm just obsessed by them. I think they're just so cute and they go so well with fairies and things. I made a little ephemera holder. So I've got like a little pocket for little bits and pieces, bookcases and little chairs. Those are nice woodland scenes. And inside, it, it's just the scrapbook paper and folded up like that. I know, Amy, I'm taking it to new levels now, aren't I? Ridiculous. And then I put the, this, this picture of the carpet, I think it's so gorgeous. And that would make a nice mushroom top some paper so I like to do woodland scenes and I thought these wardrobes with the suitcases on would make gorgeous mushroom stems so <laughs> that's what I <laughs> you fell asleep all oh, Marilyn that's amazing to me that is the best compliment you you can give me that you fall asleep I love that because I just want people to be relaxed and comforted, maybe. I don't know. I think we just, yeah, it's just lovely. We comfort one another in the chat and we're just, it's lovely. It's, you're all so welcoming to people. I love that. Mm. <laughs> I know, I, red polka dot, uh, yes, I've probably got some red polka dotty material, yes, yes. So that's my mushroom ephemera, so that I've been making envelopes with that this week. What am I like? I just what to say, ah, that was from Journey, I've shown some of that already, so yeah. Hmm. What have I got for my snack today? I have got... A lovely healthy snack it's a satsuma they're gorgeous at this time of year and a lot of you have been saying if you celebrate Christmas that you used to get these at the bottom mm. oh thank you Jen thank you well a lot of the things I say to you I I'm saying to myself I'm not saying it yeah, that's why I'm writing these things down all the time, because I think if I'm saying them and writing them, it's going into me and helping me relax. This one from last week, focus on the one step in front of you, not the, not the whole staircase. It's that. Yes. I think it just helps us, doesn't it? <laughs> Let me tell you my scarf story. Is Pierre OK? I do hope Pierre's feeling better too. Definitely. Mm. Oh, thank you, Becky. Yeah. You can always smell the tangerine. Yes, it evokes such memories for people, doesn't it? And even I remember um, putting one in the bottom of my the boy's stocking because I thought it's lovely to have carry that tradition on yes yes because that comes from a time when you know sweets and things were not that readily available oh i have two stories to tell let me tell you let me tell you the sock story first we were in a shop christmas shopping we were in for the british girls we were in fat face i love fat face and um I was paying and there was a lady next to me and the boys were there and we were looking at the socks. They were all deliciously displayed, women's socks, all patterns. And I, I looked at the lady and I said, oh, aren't they beautiful? They, they just look like candy. And I looked at the boys and I thought, what am I like? I, I, it's the influence of um, being with all the lovely American people in the chat and in other people's chats. I'm saying instead of saying sweets, 
candy just sounds so much, I don't know, it rolls off the tongue now. Isn't that funny? Cats always had an orange in the bottom of your stocking. Yes, yeah. Okay, Randy, dear, you take care. So nice to see you. So nice to see you, Randy. You take good care. Your mum said it was a tradition to put an orange in the toe of Christmas stocking. Yes, and probably in those days, they didn't have made up Christmas stockings. They were probably their long socks, weren't they? Mm. You have a bad influence, I said it couldn't believe it but to me it just feels so natural and the boy I said to the boys do you hear what I just said that's <laughs> so funny the other thing we're wearing lots of scarves at the moment and it's cold so there's that drawer that I upcycle there's two top drawers they're about this big and I was opening one up and the boys were mocking me oh I can sit am I buffering there they were clean socks, clean socks, yes. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, my socks are never that neatly placed um, that they look like candy. Oh dear, what was I saying? Oh yes, that's it. we open the open one of the drawers and and then they open the other one. And Sam said to me, Are you obsessed? <laughs> He said there's so many crocheted scarves and hats in these two drawers. I just can't stop crocheting. And I do give them away as well. <laughs> oh, dear. I don't know. Oh, dear. It was so funny the way they said it. But then I'm random as well because then they were looking through the drawer and saying, do you know this is in here? Do you know that is in there? So funny. <laughs> Ah, oh, dear. You did that as well, Jean. Mm. That's a nice cup of Yorkshire tea there. <laughs> it's been a Yorkshire type of day, hasn't it? Cheryl, thank you. Yes. Cheryl, right from the start of me streaming, has kept me in order. Mm. Becky said, and how many cameras or lenses, how many cameras or lenses does Ben have? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> we wouldn't like to say that there's the 360, there's the GoPros. Oh, different lenses. Oh, my goodness. You were right. Mm. Cheryl's always kept me in order. You used to say, don't forget to give Freddy his tray. <laughs> right. Yes. Let's just slow ourselves down. This candle. And we know of and have mentioned people today that are healing, resting, and also we know people that are really are, are really not not well. Thinking of them. And we always need to say, especially at this time of year, it is, it is a struggle physically and emotionally at this time of year. So in this busy world that we're rushing and dashing, creating. It's good to have some time to just be still. 
Kat says, always hold on to hope. That's a lovely one. And when Jennifer's here, she always says that when we light the candle, it, it does shine very brightly. There is hope. Always hang on to hope. It's not always easy, though, is it, Kat? We're not saying that that's easy. Definitely not. Mm. I'm going to blow that out, <laughs> but let's make a little banner before we do our crunch, shall we? Got the charcoal there. They're very dinky, these banners. They're like flow size. <laughs> hmm. Aren't they beautiful words? Malaya, yes, yes. Absolutely, we have one another during these times and we can be in each other's streams or share things in the comments and videos or message one another, definitely, definitely. We don't, we don't want people to think that they're alone. We have had that before, you are not alone. I'm just going to write that down again. I think sometimes the things we're going through are quite individual, but they're, they're quite often, but you think you're the only person, but quite often, especially in a, maybe even in a group this size or the community of this size, there will be someone that really does get it. Mm. Jean enjoys seeing the snow outside the window. It'd be lovely if it was coming down the snow. Like, let me see. It probably will later because the clouds look like it. Hmm. Oh, your cup says peace, joy, love and family. That's really wonderful. And we could add to that list um, friends and community, couldn't we, Jean? Hmm. There's Kristin. No, you're not late at all. You're just great timing. Fetch yourself a beverage. We've just got a lovely um, drink here. And... Get yourself a chair and sit down. We've just been making sure that we slow down a bit. Hmm. That's the most important thing, isn't it? What did Kat say? Always hold on to hope. Always. Hold. Ooh. Turn it round onto hope. It's small, but yeah. Oh, oh, it's, I need to write on it. Hold on. I let one side, let one side dry and then do the other. Absolutely. Just like a warm and comforting hug, just being together. And we need that. We need that. And I think that's one of the reasons I started streaming as well, because I think it was during lockdown and we needed just to see people and be with people. And yeah, definitely, definitely. If I'm missing you, please just pop in and yeah. What's happening Friday? Oh, Kristen, it's your birthday on Friday, isn't it? Can we sing happy birthday to you now? Yeah, even though it's early. <laughs> I remember you were on someone's chat yesterday and said, um, I might have been in the background. Was that Teresa's stream? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kristen. Happy birthday to you. It's your special day on Friday. It did. It did, Malaya. Yeah. Can you still see Fred? Oh, no, he's just there. Right, let's let's do some prompts. <laughs> oh, have a wonderful day. 
wonderful day. Do you think you will have some cake on your birthday, Kristen? What are you, what are your plans? Mm. Oh, snap, it's your son's birthday on the same day. Oh, that's amazing. Three. Oh, oh it's got tangled. Let's, three, four, five, six. Do you know, I just thought of another quote on prompt for next week. I'm just going to pop that down mm. to put in the basket. Yes, happy birthday, Kristen. Birthdays are fun, aren't they, Kristen? You're eating Mexican. Oh, what a treat. How lovely. My boys love Mexican food. We made some Mexican food when we were watching the World Cup. That's football soccer. <laughs> so let me... Now, these prompts are just... So we can be together and they're just a creative jump off point, like a like a little tiny trampoline. <laughs> so we don't, you know, don't think we have to do them all or do them at all. But let me show you what I did for last week, because it's interesting. Where are we? Now last week. I started and I did this with you on this page and then I got so interested in doing the sticker back paper that I got myself distracted all week <laughs> making all this paper out of junk. <laughs> so I'm going to make a pocket and I'm going to be putting those in there. <laughs> so it doesn't, it, you don't, don't think you need to do them all or if you just love one of the prompts, like I love that sticker back, <laughs> you sticker waste. <laughs> and there's birthday cake in there, Marty. Hi, so nice to see you. Come on in, Marty. Hope you can come and rest a while with us. <laughs> oh, you can't stay? Absolutely no worries. Yes, you can't see Freddie because he's in the dark. Let me see if I turn one of the lights round, because it's not all about looking at my desk. Does that show him up a little bit more? It does feel like the light's on you more. When I message the boys, sorry, I'm just a bit like wrapped up and cosy here. <laughs> oh, I don't know why it's hidden your lovely message. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, Marty. Yes, so nice. I love it. Mm. You've got an appointment for your first cataract. Oh, that's fantastic. Does that light show him up more now? Yes. Just move that journal. We want to see Freddy. <laughs> oh, well done. That's really good. And um, Mary and Ruth can tell you all about that. Mm. You've got early birthday gifts from your parents. Oh, what fun. I think I think you can have your birthday all week, not just on Friday. <laughs> I think that's such fun. Such fun. Oh, can I just show you this? Ooh, there's that button from, from Journey. I'm making a tree skirt. It's from the crochet crowd and he does his joined up he says because his cats uh, ruck it up more so you put the tree through there uh, so and, and it, I because it's not a real tree so it doesn't have to be that big so yes <laughs> I'm knitting I'm crocheting this and I'm really enjoying it and I thought I'll make one for Ben or oh, I'll make one for Katie and then I could make one for myself and Ben was laughing because he said he wouldn't he didn't think it was the, you know it wasn't his vibe <laughs> and crochet thing <laughs> anyway I love it <laughs> so but Katie might want one 
my niece, mightn't she? There's Carol. So lovely to see you in chat. <laughs> so nice. And thank you for all your lovely comments as well. You're turning some trousers up for your sister. It, oh, I know. That's not the sort of sewing we want to do. We, we don't mind doing some sewing for our journals, do we? It's, it's harder than it seems, isn't it, something like that? Because you don't want there to be bulk in it. I find that really hard. Mm. You, yeah. Oh, absolutely, Carol. I've got, sometimes I find on a video, you'll see jeans on the, the chair. I'm, I'm mending the boys' jeans where they rip. And yes, <laughs> absolutely. Ben said once years ago when he was at school, why do I have to have patches on when the other boys don't? I'm sure the boys used to have patches on their knees. I said, well, Ben, really, you do have to have patches on. I'm sure Sam was the same. Patches on your trousers because literally I can take him to school with brand new trousers on at, at the start of the summer holidays and he'd come home and they'd be a hole already. <laughs> hmm. Lala, welcome, welcome. Come on in. That's <laughs> so nice to see you. Come on in and spend some time with us. We're going to do some art prompts, but we're very... Um, sometimes I even say, I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that one. <laughs> There's Rebecca. There, Rebecca is great. Rebecca, you overslept. Oh, you must have needed it. Get yourself some coffee, Rebecca, and come and join us when you can. <laughs> Always lovely to see you. Oh, I love this. This is from something that Julia gave me from a magazine but I loved the textures and I thought I stuck it in I thought that's going to make a lovely background it says it's it is simply a question of testing out lots of different things well we do like to experiment and test I might cover that up we'll see let's see what prompts come <laughs> let's see what sort of a hot mess we can make today mm. Oh dear, one of those days. Oh dear. Oh Malaya. And that's yeah. Well, when you've got a young family as well, you I'm saying take it easy, give yourself time. But it's not always easy, is it, Malaya? Or when you're looking after elderly relatives or um, family members, it's not always easy. Um, this is fine. I'm looking. It's not um, an emergency phone call, so I'm just going to leave that. It's on silent. Um, and I just saw someone else come in there. And now I've distracted myself. Hopefully this will stop in a minute. I <laughs> can't multitask. Hmm. You've given up with knee patches. Well, Sam used to like wearing shorts a lot, so that was handy. But yeah, they and they do slide tackles in the playground, don't they? <laughs> Just patches on the patches. Yeah, that's all we can do. Mm. Yeah, Amy says, Amy understands you've got young children, haven't you? You understand. Yes, yes. When they're all in bed and maybe the chores are done. Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> hmm. Right, let's have a prompt. Oh, oh, how in, well, how interesting. This is a blank card and it's just got in there. That's funny, I must admit. So I'm going to say this is chat's choice. I was going to say it might, it could be the one that I've chosen for next week. But let's have chat's choice and come in with a prompt. And I will, if, if I don't pick it yours now, I will write them on cards to put in the basket. Kimberly's going to play along. Yes, thank you, Kimberly. Lace. Oh, how wonderful. Lace. 
but come in with others and then I'll always put those on. How wonderful. Paper buttons. Oh, Jen, we love paper buttons. I, I'm going to put that on a card and I'll put that in the basket. Paper buttons. Stars. I'll put these all in. Stars from Julia. Use something purple. I'll put those all in on the card and they will get, get, eventually they will get pulled out. So this was chat's choice. I won't write that on because I we don't tend to have the same ones for a while. That lovely lace. What just happened? Happen oh my good. There's that serendipity all over again. I have here some beautiful lace. This is out of my happy mouth from Sophia. And this was from some handmade blinds. I put that out because I was going to make like a little parcel for my Christmas journal. And this beautiful doily. Julia, Jean loves stars and so does Julia. Well, we'll definitely put that in so we can do more star stars. It's like me doing swirls, isn't it? Lovely. Hmm. Oh, thank you, Sherry. Yes, that was by the Crochet Crowd, Mikey from the Crochet Crowd. I, I can leave a link for it. Um, I'll write, make a note if you need the pattern. If you can't find the pattern, Sherry, do, do, do message me as well. Yes. You patched your gardening jeans with a heart shape cut from one of your kids' old jeans. Oh, how special that's amazing how special those jeans are to you they're going to last and last i don't think the boys probably would take too kindly if i patched theirs with a heart <laughs> hmm. it was your kitchen blinds that's going to be part of that it's just i thought oh i put some ribbon around it's going to be like a little parcel in my Christmas journal, but I just happened to have some lace there. It's cotton lace. It's, I would, is it handmade or do you think it's, I'm not quite sure. I'm not a lace expert. I'm going to use this glue. Some, I used to use Fabri-Tac. I could never get it. There is a tip someone told me, but I couldn't remember the tip of how to use Fabri-Tac and get it out. So, ah, oh, threads. That lace goes so nicely with this picture. Thank you for that prompt, Cat. <laughs> Rips are all the fashion. Depends where the rips are. Where they were ripped, it probably wasn't for Ben's jeans. It probably wasn't that fashionable. But we'll probably say more drafty than fashionable. <laughs> I'll press that down. <laughs> so this piece of fabric from your kitchen blinds and you did stamping on them. How lovely. How lovely to have something individual in your home like that. <laughs> oh, there we are. Oh, and there's a little tiny piece left. Would you like that in your journal? I'll give that to you and you can put that on your next page. I'll put it there for Flo. Is she on her desk? Can you see her desk? You can't see her desk, <laughs> but you can see, see the writing. Oh, that was lovely. Thank you. Super, super. Use the lace however you want to. So let's... I'm not actually writing the prompts down. I'm helping myself today. Oh, this one isn't blank. This one has something written on it. Oh, how interesting. Winter trees. That's interesting that that would be pulled out now. Um, now, if you are in another country, like you're in Australia, 
or, or somewhere like that, you use whatever trees you want. <laughs> but I think winter trees, this is me trying to be more organised. It's not going to last. Winter trees. All right there, Freddie. He's breathing away. Let's... Let's get my lovely Daphne's diary out. Now, this this is this year's, and it was from um, Julia and Jennifer. Do look away if um, I, I just can't help using the stickers. I just can't help myself. I just yes, I'm looking for winter trees. How oh, lovely! Mm. Yeah. Nice to see you, Roy. You take care. And I hope you find that material for your granddaughter's present. That isn't that frustrating when you can't find things. It happens to me all the time. Oh, these are lovely. They're like ornaments. I was thinking to go back. Oh, I was thinking to go back and... Oh, sorry about this everybody that I rip this lovely magazine up mm. I just can't help it there's writing on the other side so I didn't have a decision to make look at that lovely old stone it says this I'm never parting with I am reading with absolute joy the very first issues of your magazine oh, yes she's going to yeah. mm. The attached photo is of a scrapbook page I made a number of years ago about my grandparents' kitchen wood stove. This wood stove, as silly as it may sound, is at the heart of so many wonderful childhood memories I have. Gosh, look at that antique stove. Isn't that gorgeous? I think I might like to read that story. I've changed my mind. I'm going to read that story. <laughs> I said it was only writing on the other side. I can change my mind. I want to read. I want to honour that lady's story. Oh, dear. I will find some nice winter trees. Oh, look. Oh, a white chocolate bread pudding. Well, I know how to make a that so I'm going to take this oh there we are it's just it's just white chocolate pudding so I don't need that but that story about the oven sounds really gorgeous because it might be the same year as Blondell and it might have memories for Blondell <laughs> isn't that lovely yes a wood arger. Yes, isn't that lovely? Jean buys old issues of Daphne's diary on eBay to cut up. Good idea. Yes. I uh, Jennifer gave me some as well. Look, and there's a little on this page, there's a little robin. And can you see he has a little hat and scarf on? <laughs> Ben's there. I always miss Ben. Thank you, Cat. Hi, Ben. He pops in and he pops out again. Where is he? I can't even. You... I can't see you, Ben. Hi, Ben. <laughs> oh, I've been telling them all about the patches. Are you still there? I've been telling them all about the patches on your your G, your school trousers when you were little. <laughs> all the stories. I'm cutting out that little Robin just because I can. And he would like to sit on this page. He's gorgeous. He's got a little knitted hat and scarf. There we are. I must admit, it's so cosy to be doing this sort of crochet because you can put it over you and um, it's, yeah. <laughs> Uh, you've got your coffee now, so you're feeling a little more. Are you fit? Oh, are you feeling that? That was me. That's why I don't like to ch go to my chat. That was me pressing the wrong button. No, I don't want to end the stream. 
there we are. Oh, that is, oh, that is lovely. What I'm going to do is, where have I put it? I've got a little pot with somewhere with washi text, probably in the lamb. Christmas washi. Yeah, well, I've got some gold here. <laughs> oh, sorry, you said your coffee machine's not working, Becky. I misunderstood that. Oh, no, that is not good. That's not a good start to the day. And you need a, you haven't got any instant unplugged and replugged. Oh, seems to be brewing now. Everybody, collective, collective size. <laughs> Cat, you wouldn't, oh, dear. Do you, do you have a coffee machine or do you, yeah, you, oh, you wouldn't like that because Kat loves her coffee. Oh, how lovely. How lovely. I'm loving these prompts. <laughs> I'm just putting that photo, like a photo of the winter trees and I'm just putting that on there. I'm just going to put this little robin somewhere on there and he can come on the page later. And I think I'm enjoying this gold. Can you see that I put washi tape down the centre of these pages as well in the magazine page so they don't fall out? It, it's, as, it's as much because I love using the washi tape as well. Oh, this gold washi, this gold washi, no, no, this, this Santa washi was from was from Trudy. No, I think I just had this in the drawer. I'd like to, I sorted out my seasonal washi tape. I thought the gold would be nice. Gosh, the gold looks so nice next to the lace. <laughs> to me, it does. Um, do, yeah, I think you have different tastes, don't we? You don't use a coffee machine anymore. You make a cold brew coffee concentrate. Oh, do you know, I don't know what that is. Cold brew coffee. Would we call that instant? And then you add water and heat it up when you make a cup. Oh, you make a jug of it and then, oh, you brew it cold. Oh, I'm going to have to look up that on what that actually means. Can you see little Freddy's heads? up on there, you can just see his little chest. It's hard to make him out in this light, isn't it? Jen, doesn't that, doesn't that um, lace and gold look lovely together? I, you do a lot of lace in yours. No, it's not, it's cold brew coffee. Cat saying, Janet, it's not instant. Vaguely, I've heard of it. Is I've seen that on, the videos I watch, I think the tiny house videos, cold brew coffee. I think it's quite the thing, isn't it? Yes. I'm going to look it up, Kat, because I'm quite interested. It's much smoother coffee as hit no heat to draw acids out. I wonder whether one, if one went to like a, a an independent coffee shop, whether you could have cold brew. Round near where Ben Sam works, it's quite a trendy area called Shoreditch. And I think I think you could probably get the cold brew coffee from there. Mm. Oh. Oh, OK, um, Pom Pom, you've got to be careful, haven't you? I know. Janet, you take care. You take care. Um, you Did you get to the, the meal? You were going out for a meal and then you didn't feel very well. Did you get out and about, Janet? I do hope all is well. Mm. Cold brew. Cold blue. Cold blue club. It must be a make. It's the only coffee you drink. Well, I'm going to have to look into this. Mm. Mm. No, cold brew. Yes, sorry, typo. Yes. Mm. Yes, hugs to Janet. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to look into that. Because Ben likes coffee. 
drink coffee. I have a coffee for lenses sometimes. Mm -hmm. I'm enjoying my tea today. It's keeping me nice and warm. Let's have another product. I'm so slow on time. And it's probably time for me just to read. We've just been... We've been having a gentle time together. I'm going to read out the prompts to you. And it's probably time for us to put, um, to start winding down now. So let me read out the prompts. And I'll put them in my community tab as soon as this is finished. And in the description box as well. Hi, Sherry. So nice to see you. Come on in. Come on in. So nice to see you. So prompt three is paint. We didn't have time to do all these together, but we have had fun. I'm going to put that little rub in there. I'm going to be doing these um, after the stream. Prompt four is cosy. Isn't that a lovely... I know, we have to hang up the phone in a minute, don't we? It goes, it goes too quickly, um, doesn't it? Cindy, good morning. You just stumbled upon us. Welcome, welcome. You're in Canada. We have other people here from Canada too. Are you cold? We, we're just doing a prompt game, actually, but it's just an excuse just to spend some time together, really. <laughs> welcome, welcome, Cindy. And however you want to portray cosy on your in your journal. So and then prompt one, two, three, four. You'll see Janet struggling with prompts. Prompt four. At, I cross them out as we've done them. Is your favourite food? Oh, how lovely. Favourite food. This is going to be a lovely page. How many did I pull out? Far too many. So we've got, what was number one? Lace, winter trees, paint, cosy. Favourite food. One, two, three, four, five. Number six. Oh, is dictionary or atlas paper. How lovely. How lovely. I have some lovely dictionary paper that Laurie Paint Girly gave me. And I think I could paint on this to make some ephemera to go on my page. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's it. No, Rebecca, that's fine. You don't don't dash around too much. It's fine. We will wait for you. Don't you worry. There's Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. So nice to see you. So nice to see you. Come on in. Come on in. Now, that's our prompt side of it. Would you like to, if if you want me to repeat what the prompts were, let me know. Oh, they're lovely prompts today. I think we can make a nice journal page or art page out of them if we choose to. No, no, no pressure. Now, what we do is now we pop a little number in the chat between one and a hundred. And then I do random number generator. And it's just so I can send a tiny little happy mail, very flat, very small, but just something... I've made. So come on in. Julia's put one in for Jennifer. So pop pop a number in for yourself and then pop a number in for other people as well in the community. It's lovely. Happy Maker. So nice to see you. Really nice to see you. And sending love to all our lovely gentle listeners in the background too. I'm so glad that you could join us and you're such an important part. I know that if you're gently listening, sometimes you're healing. And other times it means that you're busy at work or doing the chores mm, or crafting along. And you, you just have a 
o'clock time to chat and that's absolutely fine. Mm. It'll just be a tiny little happy mail. Yes, little Freddy is fully asleep there. Wish you could see him. <laughs> you can't, I can hear him. Like, oh, of course, when I say that, it's he stops. <laughs> mm. Oh, Marilyn, of course, 22 for the birthday girl, Kristen, of course, Marilyn. Yes, yes. Oh, <laughs> so lovely to have a birthday, isn't it, um, Kristen? <laughs> Three for Roy. Roy was here earlier, or people that don't uh, weren't here earlier. Yeah, no, that's lovely to put numbers in. Thank you. Ah, oh, lovely. Hmm. So, yes, I'm going to be crocheting and doing my prompts and I'm going to be making up some more I no envelopes. I think I'm going to be making some mushroom envelopes. That's what I'm feeling like doing. <laughs> oh, you put a number in for Janet USA. Thank you so much, Kat. And a number in for Beth. Beth was putting in people's links. As well as putting in numbers, when we finish the numbers, would, would people like to put their own links in or ask the mods to put in links for your channel and other people's channels? Please do. Um, that would be really lovely. That, sorry, I'm just doing... That's it. Sorry, a little bit of admin there. Um, let me generate a number. So the number has to be... Are they? Mushrooms are so healing. Oh, it's really interesting. I was thinking, is it their connection to the fairies and the woodland? I don't know why I'm so into it at the moment. Thank you, Marilyn. That now that we've finished the stream, you don't need to see very much can I just turn that light off and will you say that's actually a better light I don't know I never know let's um generate a number number 11 who had oh sherry sherry's thank you who had 11 on or under Oh, I need to generate another number. I need to generate, this is for the people in the comments. From one, and I'm generating another number because it's for people that are in here that have commented for anybody and then some people can't get to the lives or number 23. Oh, and the 23 is on here. So I've written it down. Julia, there we are. I can't read the, my own writing. Julia, well, there you go. Julia, some happy mail for Julia. There we are. <laughs> so are you telling me, Jen, Jen, Jen Ren Scraps, is your address in, in, um, Beth's group, Facebook group, or or are you able to message me your address to make my life that make my life so beautifully easy? <laughs> and I will send you just a few little bits and pieces, <laughs> and some for Julia too. Then that's a generate a generated the number for for the people in the comments. And seriously, oh. I never did. I take so much notice of the comments, but we've run out of time. I shall have to, the napkin back challenge. Lots of people came in with ideas and I so appreciate those ideas. I have been trying things out with all the ideas and I have that to share with you. Oh, wow. I will share it next week. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> and there is... Rebecca's um, 
channel there and we are going to get on the bus <laughs> hmm. thank you lala that's so kind of you and gail yes you're 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 off for a shower and i hope your dad's okay um gail dear yes <laughs> oh Did you? You had a prompt and it said use napkin backs. Oh, how interesting. I had some, I won't share now because you'll want to see the ideas. I love, I love it in the comments when you share your ideas and what you're doing and oh, lovely. Oh, the prompt was just playing cards. Right, yes, I get you. Mm. Mm. I'm misunderstanding. <laughs> Gail, good news. Dad is good. Good, good. I know it's busy for you running around and yeah, with your knee and everything. I hope that injection sorted that out a bit, actually. I love these ladybirds, um, Lana. And um, Rebecca's put Beth's channel in. Beth will be streaming on tomorrow evening at 6 a 6 p.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time. Hmm. Safia, it's been lovely to see you too. And I'm going to go, we're going to go out with these words. Taking time for yourself is not selfish. And there was another beautiful quote from Little Pickles and she will be messaging me that and I will write that in the description box. Yes. Yes. Always hold on to hope <laughs> as well. Hmm. Jean's put, popped in her channel. Let's just leave this running just so you can grab other people's channels. It's fantastic. We love it. And I will be putting some channels that I mentioned in the in the comments below as well, in the description. Mm. Ruth says, everyone, have a safe and blessed week. And the same to you, Ruth, too. Mm. Amy, it's been a pleasure. Thank you for coming to the house and spending this time with us today. It's been lovely. I say goodbye to the replayers and the gentle listeners too. Mm. Dolly, take care. Take good care. Mm. Take good care. Ah. It is lovely, isn't it? And the beautiful writing as well. Yes, and we're going to hop on the bus. Aren't we um to Rebecca's safe bus journey over to Rebecca's? That's right, Rebecca. Take care, Sherry. Take care. Bye bye, Becky. Have a good week. I know it's a busy week, and the children get more and more excited as it gets nearer to Christmas. It's hectic, isn't it, Becky? I do hope you have a little bit of time for yourself. Take care, Jean. Enjoy using all your lovely Christmas mugs. Mm -hmm. Marilyn, cosy, warm hugs to you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kat. Thank you. Kat says, have a joyfully creative week. Oh, that's, thank you. <laughs> oh, there's Kathy. Oh, no, it's a busy time of year, Kathy. And the I know the children are off on and with you on a Monday. No, no. Mm. Watercolour reactive pens. I, I love the way you've sprayed the paper. I love that. Oh, do remind me to do the napkin back challenge next week so I can show you other people's ideas. Oh, dear. <laughs> Take care, Jens. You added your address. Thank you, Jens. That makes life a little easier. Take care, Kathy. Kathy, have a lovely time this week with your crocheting and sewing and <laughs> all the things you do. K 
Kelly, take care. So nice that you could join us in the live. Really lovely. Petra, good afternoon and goodbye. Yes, have a lovely evening. Take care. I've got an easy tea today. I'm just making some couscous, so that would be nice and easy. I'll fry up a few bits. <laughs> Cindy, so nice to see you. Mm. Cindy, I'm so glad you found the channel too. Thank you. So, take care. Take care. Sending you love and your mum too. Yeah, take care, Sue. Well, I better hang the phone up. This this is a very cosy picture here. <laughs> take care, everyone. See you in Rebecca's stream or other people's streams and in the comments and Jasper, bye. Um, and Chris, did I say goodbye to Chris? You've gone already. Chris, if you have, if you've gone, enjoy that lunch you're going to, Chris. Oh, bye, Becky. I hope we've been good company for you while you crochet. <laughs> oh, Sue, so I love our Monday afternoons together too. Mm. Take care, take care. You're decorating. Oh, I'm out of the loop. Are you decorating the bathroom or decorating as in holiday decorating? No crochet today. Sometimes we do have to get down to doing things. Can you see how dark it's getting? The clouds are coming in with snow now. Mm. Yes, darling, the prompts are lace, winter tree, Paint, cosy, favourite food. That's one, two, three, four, five. That's five. Oh, and then dictionary or atlas paper or whatever paper you've got if you haven't got that. And the prompt, holiday decorating. How wonderful. Christmas music in the background. You've had me in the background, but some Christmas music as well. Oh, Becky, how lovely. Enjoy. And I loved your card banner. Mm. Take care. Ruth saying, Ruth saying goodbye. Do you want another treat, Fred? Are you going to come down and get a treat? Well, I better put that phone down and I'm going to get on the bus and go and see. You're not, oh, I've got a stretch over. Ah, oh, there you go, little lovely. <laughs> Take care. Deliberately creating. Hello. And goodbye, I'm just signing off. So nice to see you. I can't remember your Christian name deliberately creating. Oh, I, I feel I, I would know it, um, but don't. Oh, let me just write. Deliberately creative. It's a lovely name. It's Stephanie. You've told me that before, Stephanie. I apologise. Welcome <laughs> and goodbye, though, because I'm just literally about to put the phone down. <laughs> oh, take care, everyone. And remember, taking time for yourself is not selfish.